I grew up in Williamstown, right across the river from Marietta. I'm just a normal, everyday kind of person. I uh, love my family and love my job and my dog. I was first introduced to dragon boating by a friend of mine who was a breast cancer survivor. The way that the dragon boat was tied into breast cancer is because a doctor realized that the type of paddling that we do was very good for women who'd had mastectomies, that it would rebuild the muscles. It's really ironic that, you know, for seven years I rode in the dragon boat as a supporter of others who have breast cancer. And then this year, I was diagnosed myself. Um, in January of this year, I had my yearly mammogram. At that time, they asked that I have an ultrasound. And after the ultrasound, they uh, did a biopsy. A week after the biopsy, my gynecologist called to tell me that the um, biopsy was positive and that I had a very common type of breast cancer called ductal carcinoma in situ. One of my biggest fears was having to have chemotherapy. Not only that I would lose my hair, but that I would possibly not be able to work and that I would have to depend on other people to help me and to take care of me. One of my biggest fears was, was leaving my children. You know, they already lost their father and you know, if, if I was, if something happened to me, then they wouldn't have anyone anymore. While my family and the Dragon Boat team offered me emotional support, the team at Strecker gave me the knowledge and the confidence in them and the strength to, to beat breast cancer and to come out as a survivor. They were wonderful. You couldn't ask for a nicer bunch of people. Everyone spent a lot of time explaining to me exactly what type of cancer I had and drawing pictures for me so that I would understand everything. At that time, we questioned uh, the possibility of doing the intraoperative radiation and whether or not that I would be a candidate for that. And Dr. Body agreed that I would be a good candidate for it. I wanted to do the interbeam procedure so that I could walk in have my surgery, have my radiation, and walk out with my prescription for tamoxifen. And other than that, I'm done. I felt like with the tools that I had in front of me, my family, my friends, and the people at the hospital, that that was all that I needed. And that I would be able to fight it and beat it and move on. It's so exciting to me to think that, that little Marietta has a, this innovative new procedure that is only done in a couple of places in the whole United States. It's gonna be amazing for the hospital and for the community and for women who have breast cancer.